Hello, in this video I'm going to show you um, how to adjust this controls after you have finished the wiring. So this is what I did, see? This is for the night pin connector here. This is connect to a signal. Again, I have a signal generator here, uh, generate CGA. And so I'm going to connect to it. And uh, this one connect to the side. All right, we're going to apply power to fire up and to show you and uh, how to uh, adjust it. So all this retrofit display, um, by default, if we set it on a uh, 800 by 600 and RGB analog uh, G. So let me show you the manuals here. Okay, let me put this one. Let me see for you to see it. Okay. So, you see the on, on screen display, this is 800 by 600. The first step, it here displays a C of CGA frequency. Remember, if there's a no signal, it will work. Uh, if you're not safe, so you gotta apply the signal too. So, all right, this is all default setting 800 by 600 RGBA. So, first thing you need to do is select the input, which is called style. Um, let me show you by pressing a menu, right to bring up the menu, and then you menu again using plus or minus side to go to style. See this, and you could select push menu again and then uh, we become red see that now you can change the input source setting now it's RGB analog we can go by RGBD which is digital for example the monochrome display they're using TTL interface so it will be digital and uh, the other one's YUV okay so now it's go back to uh, analog next thing after you select make your selection push menu button again become white so then go to the next one. Next one's all default H3. The next thing would be I always would suggest that because the default is 800 by 600, I would suggest that you set it a 640 by 480. Press menu again. Become red. Now it's 640 by 480. Again, still the frequency show here. Press menu again. Press exit. I mean press minus o o o. Press side, go to exit and save. Press menu again, you save. So, you see this old garbage? Let me show you. Uh, it's not right. So, you can just see this one. I would suggest a radical position first. So, you just press menu, bring out the menu again, and go to position. Press menu again, become wet. Now, you can make your adjustment. You see this? So, oh, I had to go back up. Oh. Okay, so let me go to a. We just had to do a combination though. Let's go to a height. Maybe that will bring down a little bit. See, here we go. You see that? It's bringing down a little bit. So you just have to find all these combinations. You almost could adjust everything. You know, this is, as I see, this is for the, for the monochrome. That's why you see the green color only. Okay, so now, and then you go back to press menu again. You go back to a position again. So bring up. So after few adjustments for the size, and then you go by the width, vertical. After you done, you just go to um, ASIC. Uh, go down to a ASIC and save. That's it. You know we, we we're gonna post all the settings, EGA, VGA uh, settings on the website later on. But uh, all this for your reference. So and again. When you bring out the menu, sometimes people say, hey, I, how do I know that CGA, VGA, monochrome? But actually, it tells the frequency here. See that? This is CGA. So let me switch to EGA. You see that frequency changing? Let me switch to it. Uh, this is uh, MDA monochrome. The reason you don't see this, because see this. Okay, let me bring out the menu again. Because, again, it's using a RGBD. Push the menu again, right? There we go. So pretty much you can adjust everything. And uh, if you still have questions, uh, either give us a call or send us an email to techsupport at lcdpass.net. And thank you for watching.